Actually, Matt, uh, Matt Buchan, you actually did send us a, a question on Facebook. Oh, um, yeah. Let's yeah. go for that. What about we go with this one? Look at that. It's Matt is here. Do you want right. to go for it? Yeah, so Matt, you sent us a question on Facebook. What was it? Okay, so Matt Buchan on Facebook asked, Hi, love all your resources for planning a trip to New Zealand. Planning to be there with my son in October for two weeks. One question, if you have addressed it and can point to me or could provide me some input. I don't have a mobile phone that would travel well currently. Thinking either to go local prepaid basic phone while they're in there and slash or bringing a small table T tablet. That's why I usually read the questions. Yeah, it says small table, but tablet, getting a local data SIM and using supplement Wi-Fi access and possibly use for Skype calling back home and locally while there if I skip the local basic phone option. Any thoughts? Is it practical to get a low cost basic phone for short term use or not common practice? All right, so in short, the question, just to recap that question, um, <laughs> the question is, is it better to find a cheaper local phone or is it better to try to get your phone from back home to work in New Zealand or even buy a brand new phone from home? All right. So just to address the first part of your question, when you're talking a little bit about Skype. So Skype is a great way to keep in touch with your friend and family back home. So it's FaceTime and any of those other apps. However, it's not going to be a good way to contact businesses around New Zealand. They usually are not on Skype to do this kind of things. They use the normal good old phone. New Zealand is not really kind of... Um, it's not yeah. high tech. It's yeah, not, we, you know, yeah. with the times. Yeah. yeah. It, exactly. it likes basic phone calls, barely does email. Exactly. So, yeah. And on top of that, if you do have a, a phone number from back home, you're unlikely to be called by companies. So if there's a chance for your bookings and everything like that, they're not necessarily going to like to call your uh, USA phone number because you have to pay a surcharge for that. So getting yourself a New Zealand SIM card, even if you're traveling in New Zealand for only three weeks, is usually a really good idea. Um, now the SIM card may not work in your, uh, you know, in your phone, and and uh, the, you know your phone may not be compatible with that. You may not be aware on how to change SIM cards. You may have one of that iPhone that had the SIM card integrated to it, and you can't change the SIM card, which came out once. I can't remember when, but I was at home. Oh, yeah. about that. I mean, nonsense. So that may not be super practical. So a lot of people go the route of going with an old, good old-fashioned cell phone. Um, which is super cheap, um, which is usually not a smartphone, it's a dumb phone, and, uh, and, and use it for the, the, the duration of their trip. And this is what we think is the best way to do. You can get yourself a dumb phone in New Zealand for about $20 to $30, and that comes with a SIM card. The SIM card is on prepaid, so that will allow you to actually be able to super flexible and not just spend whatever you have. So, um, yeah. For dumb phones, um, the, one of the main brands in New Zealand is Huawei or Huawei, Huawei, Huawei. I yeah. do not know how to pronounce that, <laughs> but there are plenty of them everywhere. And they have phones, you know, they still have a bit of a color screen, but they look like a Nokia 3310 that you know <laughs> everybody had in the days. Yeah. Uh, so whoop whoop, Nokia undeployable phone. Um, so yeah, so it does look like that. And uh, yeah, they are. I think at the moment they are about thirty dollars. Um, so you can find those things at the warehouse. It's uh, kind of a, it's the equivalent of like a Kmart. Yeah, or... it's like a cheap department store. Yeah. So they do have an entertainment section yeah. with cell phones for sale. Exactly. And that's but network wise, uh, you have a choice of plenty of them. Now we have one that we prefer, which is called Skinny because it runs on the Spark network. The Spark network, the one that has the best coverage around the country and it also is really cheap. So for about one month of, um, of, of of use in prepay, you can spend $26 to buy like a bundle and you have like 200 minutes of calling, which is more than what you need. You have uh, quite a few gigabytes of data, which you're not gonna be able to use on your dumb phone. And there is unlimited text, so you're sweet with that. So you kind of think about the whole thing and, and you're probably gonna be spending about 50 bucks for everything you need for the month, including the phone. And then after with your dumb phone, you can go on one of our Facebook group and just give it away to someone. You can leave it in the hostel, you can send it to someone, you can keep it as a souvenir. Yeah. You can you can be like, look, what is in New Zealand? That's ridiculous, right? Yeah, you can do yeah. what you want. Any other tips on that? 
Well, um, if you are wanting to check whether your phone will actually work in New Zealand or not, we do have an article on backpackerguide.nz, which is, will your phone work in New Zealand? You just search for that on our website, or we'll put it put a link in the description below in the report broadcast of this video. But there's a link on there to basically help you, sort of, you put in some codes or something from your phone, and it basically tells you whether it will work. The IME code. Yeah, that's the this one. one. That's the one, and it, it basically tells you whether whether your um, phone will work in New Zealand. So you can maybe test that out as well. Um, and if you you want to do, do a bit of comparison on the phone networks in New Zealand, we do have an article called, which is the best phone network in New Zealand. And we'll also link that in the, the description below and you can do a bit of comparison there and see what's your cheapest option and which has the best coverage. And now I want to give you a piece of advice as well. Almost everybody arrives in the Oakland airport and most people really want to get these things sorted really quickly because nobody lives without a phone nowadays. Now the SIM cards at the airport have a very different deal than what you can get elsewhere because obviously the tourists have different needs, uh, i.e. they can be taken more advantage of. <laughs> so I strongly advise not to buy any phone, any phone plans and any SIM cards at the airport and especially not to use the free SIM cards which are provided to anyone anywhere taking one of those free magazines or this and that because they do not include the best deal whatsoever. However, near the Oakland, I can't face that enough that they are a big tourist trap. <laughs> um, so, uh, just outside of the Oakland Airport, about a five minute drive or a very short cab ride away, there is a big one of those stores called the Warehouse, and then there is the local offer, there is the much cheaper phone, there is the cheaper SIM card, there is the better deals. So, those preloaded SIM card, not a good deal, and those. Um, uh, travel, free travel SIM cards are very much not a good deal, especially since they use one of the worst network in New Zealand, which is called Two Degrees. So um, yeah, that's basically our take on it, just because I've seen a lot of people have uh, been taking advantage of that when we see that we get about twice what they get, just because they picked up their, their deal at the airport. So just, just wait for this one yeah. out, because we got you back and because I am cheap as. <laughs> anyway, if you did like all those tips, if you find anything that we're doing useful, hit the like button, that's super useful to us, that shows YouTube that uh, you guys like what we do, that shows YouTube that uh, we actually uh, are useful and maybe YouTube is going to show this video to more people and also you can subscribe because we do that all the time. So thank you very much for that.